Thank you. Thank you. Why aren't you standing? <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh. Thank you. Holy shit. <laughs> Carrie, I, I couldn't, where is she? I couldn't appreciate more. I couldn't love you more. I couldn't feel loved more. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much. Uh, holy moly. <laughs> I love being here. I don't know what to say about this evening. Uh, but I've never had as rich and wonderful as life has been for me. This is an evening that tops all other evenings. And I thank you, I, th I thank you for that. You can, go, you can give me the words. It was Bud Yorkin who first learned of Till Death Us Do Part, uh, the British antecedent to All in the Family. And I grew up in a house with a father. Uh, it embarrasses me to think about it, or certainly to say, called black people darkies. And he would often tell my mother, we, often on a, on a Thursday, he would say, we're going out for chinks on Sunday. He was taking us to a Chinese restaurant. I grew up with that. So when, and it killed me. I, 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 I love the man so much and wanted to just, and wanted to choke him half the time. So when Bud Yorkin uh, called me in a phone call from London and told me about an episode he had just seen of Till Death Us Do Part, in which a bigoted father drove a liberal son-in-law out of his friggin' mind, I knew in an instant we could do an American version of that show. And years later, uh, when Bud was in London and he called me after watching a, 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 we were in Las Vegas watching a lounge act and fell in love with, uh, uh, with Red Fox. And happily at that moment, we were thinking about doing a, another uh, American version of a British show called Steptoe and Son. And uh, it became Santa and the Son. And by the way, uh, because I'm talking to a, a number of British people here, I, I, I want to mention the fact that uh, the person who brought these shows to me and, and from whom I uh, bought the shows or made a deal to do the American version of these two shows uh, was Beryl Virtue. Uh, I, I, I imagined for the last few days, hopefully, that uh, so a woman would walk up to me tonight and say, hi, Norman, remember me, Beryl Virtue. How many British people here knew Beryl? No Beryl, she's, I just, but well, she's a wonderful woman. And I checked it out today and uh, she's in her 80s, but she's still working in, in, in London. And I owe the British a great deal for kickstarting uh, the, the, my television career with those two shows. If anyone told me when I was a kid during the Great Depression that I would win that Emmy for those shows and be honored in the same lifetime by the British Academy of Film and Television for doing those shows, I would have thought them out of their minds. It's taking me 97 years, as it's been said again and again tonight, to get to this moment. And, uh, thank you. And as difficult as some of that time was, I look out at all of you, and I'm grateful for every moment of those 
of those years. Bless you. Thank you so much for this great honor. Thank you.